cyberware. Um, Chow playing cards. Hype Beast, the Grand and Union. So, I'm excited. I hope your day has been well and that you're ready for a solitaire special. Let's start by opening up the cyberware deck and get this special underway. 550 solitaire videos. That is just insane. Oh, of course, it's going to be a little bit of a jerk, but you know what? Fine by us. Oh, look at that nice shine on this. And you know what? Let's put this back to the side and give this deck a nice look around. Well, hopefully it looks as nice as the box is. Anyway, we will get into that other stuff. Oh, wow. We end up needing this in the end. All right, we'll get into that stuff later, but let's just get into our first deck and take a nice look at what we'll be playing with here. If that's the back, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So there are the promos and I believe some of the jokers. Let's see what the red cards are. And you know what? That's good. Very cool deck to start our night. And let's put the jokers and promos back in their box. Awesome box, too. Just look at that design and texture. And let's get ready for our first game of the night. All right. Let's start this with the nice five simple shuffle start. And let's get into it. Make sure I don't miscount right off the bat. It's actually quite fitting. Five shovels to start our night. If you would have told me when I first started this channel and started the solitaire videos, I never would have thought we would have gotten here. And again, I never would have thought I would have as many decks as I do. But you know what? Happy little surprises. It's just so crazy to think about 550 of these videos over what? 250 new decks. Just an awesome all around experience so far. And that's our start. I am liking this design. And we are good to begin our night officially. Also, if you haven't already, let me know if you enjoy this video. It's this special. Come on now. 550. And for those of you wondering, yes, there is another special coming in the works. You'll just have to wait just a bit, and then it will come around. Put down that jack, a mean-looking jack. And we move on to the second round. Just to give a little overview of the night, we'll be doing two games per deck. With our five decks, a total of ten games. And are we going to get a play? Come on now, it's such a nice deck. We don't want to waste a nice look. Alright, we'll get into a lot of stuff later. But for now, let's get into this deck. So I've had this deck for quite a while now. I've always wanted to get into it, but the time never felt right. But you know what? Why not kick it out for a special? As it looks like that is the end to our first game. Yes, that was pretty dreadful, but you know what? 
game of the night as there's nowhere for that seven, six, four, king, nine, king once again, and lastly, queen. On to game number two. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, this deck, I wanted to use this deck for a while, so I chose some of my decks that I've been wanting to use, but just didn't really quite feel right with it. So we should have triple fives, there it is, a strong lineup for us. On our 550th special double aces, quadruple fives, that's extra nasty. Double jacks, double kings, double tens, double threes, triple tens. A very, very tough start. But you know what? Doesn't bother us. So as we get started with our night, question for all of you. When did you start watching our solitaire journey? And if this is your first video, welcome along. And for those of you who are more seasoned, let us know when you started. It's always fun asking that and seeing the comments that say, Oh, I came in last week, a couple days ago, a couple months, a year, a couple of years now. Very cool seeing. These cards are very soft, by the way. All right, let's gather them up. And as we gather them up, let's give this deck its ranking. Why not? So, from the beginning, the first shuffle, I could tell these cards aren't the most sturdy. They're fairly flimsy. But where they lack in the flimsy department, they make up for in the design. The back design is something I'm really enjoying right now. I hope you are too. It just, it just feels right for whatever reason. So nice design. The only thing I would change really would be to maybe change the front colors of the cards a bit. Um, not the sturdiest deck. Good design. But the sturdiness honestly is pretty bad. Or not as good as it could be. So we'll have to give it a six and a half. Definitely can't play with this deck every day or every week type feel. But if you're gentle, it could last. There we go. Yeah, we're good. up for at least one more round. 
So honestly, I have been looking forward to this special for quite some time. First being because it's the first decent size special since our 500. It just kind of represents a bigger chunk of the pie in what we've done. Like the 525 was nice, but 55% sounds better than 52.5%. All right, we really need that green queen and purple jack. Well, we have the purple jack, now let's see if we get the green queen.
let's hope it's a winning one as we start with the four. Seriously, these cards feel phenomenal. Very pleasant surprise. And design is quite nice too. Simple, sweet, to the point. Face 
these cards and numbers. Aces, really good. Numbers, somewhat standard, but with a nice smooth twist. Face cards, unique, satisfying, historic. It's kind of weird, but I think this deck is getting an eight and a half. A strong eight and a half. I would never have thought. Alright, game number four. Give us some good luck. Oh my, this is where the smooth, slick, waxy texture makes it a little hard to gather the cards. since I've gotten a couple comments like this from you all, why not throw in a story? So, for those of you kind of wondering or ever thought why cards, well, if you've seen previous specials, you know where my interest in cards would come from. I used to play rummy and blackjack with my uncle when I stayed over at my grandma's house as she watched me, or they watched me, I should say. And he taught me pretty much to be very good at cards. And then I didn't play for a while, triple tens. We could work with it, though. Um... And he had a little collection in a drawer of about probably 30 decks. And I thought the decks were so cool with the variety in printing styles, texture, um, jokers. I loved the variety in jokers that he had. It was really awesome seeing. He, like I remember, he had a mini deck of cards probably that big and that thick and he obviously played with it a bit and there would be a little ridge right in the middle because it's tough to shuffle those things they're not too durable anyway i remember that ridge and the cards felt so soft and so satisfying and you know you had to be delicate with them because of their um durability and just seeing the different ways a deck of cards can be presented, held, felt, viewed, was just something very simple and sweet to me. So, I didn't think about it much. I remember for Christmas time, I would get my uncle decks of playing cards because I know I knew or recognized that a lot of his decks were worn down. Didn't make that much money. So I thought if I could save something up, give him like four to like a bulk pack of decks, he could play with them with his friends and do whatever. And I remember pretty much quite a few Christmases in a row, he would get a good stack of cards from me. As we earn our second fat stack of the night. Oh, let's actually use this too instead. Good thing we didn't put it down already. So what does my uncle have to do with this? Well, after I learned how to drive, I took it upon myself to find somewhat of a passive hobby collection. I used to like action figures that my brother kind of passed on to me, but then I kind of grew out of that. Things like vintage Star Wars figures, stuff along those lines, but 
that stuff got terribly expensive, so I thought, you know what? That's going to be too tough to pursue. So I went to antique stores because it's neat seeing hidden gems every once in a while. And I remember coming across lots of decks of playing cards, as that is the end to our fourth game. And I thought after a couple of visits, you know what, let me, oh wow, never mind. Good. Why don't I get myself a deck of cards and create a little antique store collection? And a collection started of some very obscure decks. Interesting decks. And I had myself probably 20 antique store decks. I think I still have most of them. Anyway, and that pretty much began somewhat of my collecting journey. It stopped for a while as we get our third fat stack of the night until our solitaire journey on this channel began. So for those of you who enjoy this and like a consistent routine, you can thank my uncle. And I thank him as well, because without those experiences, I know I would not be playing this game with as many of you, as many of you as I do. Sorry, tired tongue gets twisted. It's just very cool. Alright, let's see if we can keep this game going. Let's hope it lives up to the hype. 
as we get another fat stack right here. So far, my favorite deck is this deck. I know it's not the highest rated, but it doesn't mean it can't be my favorite. I'd probably go this deck, the red deck, and then the first deck. As we get a good shot right there, please be a red queen underneath this card. Red queen. Red queen. Red jack, almost. Red queen. Red queen. Come on, we'll get it eventually. Red queen. Well, oh wait. Red queen. Red queen. Oh my gosh, whatever. We'll take it. All right. Interesting spot. Obviously missing some gaps. Some important gaps. As we earn yet another fat stack, I've honestly lost count. Someone keep track of that, please. And here we go. Whoa. I think we might have a shot. If I remember. Besides that, cool. And on to victory shuffle number two. All of the space.
Not too bad. Pretty good split right there. And that was the Hype Beast deck. It did a good job. Very satisfied with that one. And now we're on to the Grand. Number 12 of 1,400.
Honestly, I don't see a path to victory with this spacing. I don't think the triple sixes will align how we want them to. So with that being said, nowhere for that four. Nowhere for that king. Nowhere for that queen. Five. Nine. And lastly, six. Tough one. Great deck. Tough result. I feel like our games have been very decisive fairly early so far. As we have. What do we have? Double eights. Double fives. Double sevens. Triple sevens. Double nines. Double queens. Double kings. And that is it. Alright, casino shuffle. As we rate this deck. So durability, it's a bit weaker than average design. Nice design on the back. The effect of the foil, very good. The front of the cards are just hard to beat. So two very strong features. An awesome box. This is tough. I'm thinking an eight and a half. And that is lowballing it. Here we go. The only reason it's an eight and a half is because it is a flimsy type deck. He obviously sacrificed that for having such great looking cards. Game number eight. Thanks. 
as he already has a decent stack and he's closer to the ground floor. Wow. Oh, you know what? Strategy. Let's go this 10 and then bada bing, bada boom. As soon as I thought that I thought I don't want to say that, and the fact I thought I don't want to say that, I had to say it after that. Do any of you get that way? Where you don't want to do something, and then the fact you know you wouldn't want to do it, you do it just for that reason, in spite of yourself. Yeah, that's a special kind of ability right there, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, that's so satisfying. All of those aces. Okay. We need some kings.
but to play that too. Did we really just get some rotten luck? I think we did. So let's do a thorough check as there's nowhere for that six. I just remembered something I meant to say earlier. Nothing big, but boy, do I disappoint myself sometimes. All right. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Three. 
let's get this final game in the bag. So what I always fail to remember, like in most of my regular videos, uh, let's just get through it. <laughs> I wish I was trying to say this at the beginning, but I just forgot in all of the excitement. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have channel memberships. It'd be pretty awesome if you could join. A little bonus to all of you who do extra solitaire videos as if there aren't enough. But for those of you crazy enough to check them out, triple nines, once again, they will be waiting and there will be more coming. I don't have Patreon or anything like that, so that is the only means I use. But the point I wanted to mention was, for those of you who are members, thank you so much. All of you lovely, awesome people, you know who you are. And with that being said, let's wrap up our night with the looks of it. It might be a winner, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves here. As we know how unforgiving this game can be, my friend. Should we play this aggressive is the question. And I think we have no option but as instantly we receive a king. Another six triple nines, now triple sixes. What did I say? They are the most frequent for whatever reason. And make that quadruple sixes as if it wasn't tough enough. We got the buff or the snuff. Isn't that enough? Three. Oh, I wish we had a red one, but we have to put it down. Four. Why not? Add the five and add the other four. isn't it? Come on. A three. There's a two for that three. Oh my, that was bad. Oh no, I think with that play right there, we just lost our final game of the night as there's nowhere for that jack, ten, or queen so promising was washed away by triple nines and triple sixes. Not a play left to be made as there's no five of clubs. I'm telling you tonight, the freaking solitaire gods did not tease us. You knew we won. You knew we lost. But boy was it fun. And that is the end to our 500 and 50th special. I'm excited for the next one. I hope you are too. Double jacks, double kings, double fives. And that is it. Honestly, an awesome lineup tonight. I tried picking some really good ones and they did not disappoint. Surprisingly, all of them hit. My favorite, I think, like most of us, is probably the Grand. But all of them, good in their own way. So, my friend, you know how it goes. I hope you have yourself a relaxing remainder.